A very good evening to you and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. The Tourism Minister Ed Bartlett says he wants to position Devon House Ice Cream to be part of the driver of food tourism in Kingston. He was speaking at the opening of the bigger Devon House Ice Cream Parlour on Monday. TVJ's Dashan Hendricks reports. At 150 billion US dollars a year, the global market for food tourism is big business and Jamaica wants a bigger slice. Tourism Minister Ed Bartlett has been around the world selling the island's cuisine to get that bigger share. Now to that list, he wants to add Devon House ice cream, which was voted by National Geographic as the fourth best in the world. A few weeks ago, we launched the Gastronomy Center of the Caribbean right here at Devon House. And that we do have intentions to build out a Caribbean experience that will involve gastronomy and culinary tourism. But we want to lead it from Jamaica and we want to marry it with the other culinary uh, delights of the region and to ensure that when you leave Devon House, it's not just ice cream, but it's all the wonderful delicacies that are so inherent in this excellent cuisine. To be part of that push, the location of Devon House Ice Cream Parlor at its base at Historic Devon House recently underwent a $28 million remake to double the space. It received the thumbs up from the man who is responsible for the continued existence of the site, former Prime Minister Edward Siaga, but with a warning. I want to, in particular, commend the minister of seeing what I had in mind and giving it his blessing by continuing it. We don't want this place to become something that we don't want to go to. I would hate to come and see another set of buildings all around the place uh, that just create something like it's a mall. This one is tasty. This one is a good addition. I, I suggest you leave it at that. For the Business Day, I am Dashan Hendricks. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $128.21. The Canadian dollar is selling for $102.57. The pound sterling costs $167.32, while the euro now costs $149.73. Gasoline prices have jumped to a two-year high as Petrojam announced another hike in pump prices. This is the fourth hike in as many weeks. For a look at what level of increases consumers can expect, we go to Dashan Hendricks at the Smart Board. Dashan. Well, as I mentioned, gasoline prices are rising to a two-year high this week as Petrojam enact a 97 cents increase for both E1087 and E1090 gasoline. Now, these prices are the highest one would see since July 9 of 2015. But the difference now is that about 42% of the price of gasoline is made up of just taxes this time around. Moving on now, these are the price of regular diesel going up this week by $1.04, while the low sulfur variety increases by 58 cents. Kerosene is going up as well. It increases this week by 56 cents. But propane goes up 92 cents and butane cooking gas increases by a dollar and 29 cents. It's now back to you. Thank you, Dashan. In the meantime, the price of oil settled at its highest in more than two months today. Oil for delivery in September settled at $48.75 a barrel. It is up 86 cents or 1.8%. The Jamaica Stock Exchange ended strongly today with the main JSE market index advancing more than 3,080 points, while the junior market increased by 67 points. The winners of the day included Berger Paints, Cable & Wireless, Express Catering, Honeybun, Jamaica Producers, the NCB Financial Group, Radio Jamaica, and Supreme Ventures. On the losing end were Access Financial, Jamaica Stock Exchange, the JMMB Group, and Sajiko Real Estate X Fund. And that's the Business Day. I'm Duane Burbick. Good evening.